What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to day three of On Shape. Whew. Got used to saying on or execution for so long, I have to get used to saying On Shape. Anyways, so with us today, we're working on that Revolut command and how to do completed profiles. So let's start from scratch. Let's create document and let's call this Revolut. All right. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna click on sketch. Go to front, and remember when we click on a sketch, just get in the habit of finding that whatever plane you're on and making it flush with your view. That way nothing is uh, kind of out of whack. All right, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a line. Let's just draw a line going up, over, and inwards. And then let's just finish that shape out. So when we finish the shape out, you notice that inside becomes shaded. This tells me this is a complete profile. If I were to, let's say, do, let's do an arc. That way we can keep with uh, our pieces so far. So three point arc, let's click on here and click outwards and then about there. And so let's say we're still trying to make that same piece that I did earlier, well, the problem is, is when I go to do the revolute command, this is not a completed profile. So what do I mean by that? So let's hit uh, green check mark, finish that sketch, and let's click on revolute. So when I click on revolute, it'll let me select this face, but what it won't let me do is select this profile at all. It won't let me even do anything with it. All it sees is a line going outwards. So when you plan on extruding or revoluting or even some of these other commands we do downstream, make sure your profile is shaded in. That way, Onshape knows it's a complete profile and it's ready to do what you kind of need to do. Here's what I imagine that some students or even like myself, I would try to click on sketch and re and finish out that sketch. And what you're gonna do is, there's two different sketches and the way Onshape talks to it is, they don't, those sketches don't talk to each other. So if you need to edit a sketch, you have to go back in your browser and find that sketch. So we're gonna find this sketch right here. You can see it's highlighted, and then we can right click and edit. So let's go back in, click the front, zoom in just a little bit, hit L for line, and finish that portion out. We can act now, we can hit the green check mark, and then we're good to go. So let's see if we get away with the revolute command now. If I click on this face, I have to click on this face too. We're gonna to now click on revolve axis and it's going to want somewhere to revolve it around. And this center line right here looks okay. There we go. Let's say we want to revolve it around a different axis though. You can click any line here is viable to do that revolute axe, all, all it's gonna do is take this profile and wrap it around whatever you're telling it to wrap it around. So we can click this one and kind of get a different bowl shape. Um, or let's see, click on front again. Let's see if I can go in and let's do revolve axis. Let's see if I could do it around this center line right here. Will it let me do it? No, because you ran into a problem. It won't revolve it and it won't do geometry that will wrap around itself. So we do have to select an outside line. Looks okay. Let me click the green check mark and that revolve is finished. This is really helpful if you have nice rounded off pieces. Usually anything that's a circle is probably gonna be a revolve, um, but there you go, ladies and gentlemen. If you have any questions, let me know. But we are officially done with day number three of Onshape. If there's anything you'd like me to do specifically or you need help on, feel free to shout out or reach out to me in whatever way you deem you need. Until then, I will see you on the next video.